All right, so the PCV is this guy right down there. I don't know if you can see it very good. It's got a little hose connected at the top. Otherwise, it's bolted to the block with two 12 millimeter bolts. You will need an O-ring to replace it and the PCV can itself. You can also clean it, but I've tried that and um, it is quite the hassle. I mean, they're pretty cheap. I would advise nowadays, just go ahead and buy one. All right, so I got this one from Professional Parts Sweden or Via Poch. And uh, we have a little gasket for That was not included, by the way, that gasket. I put that there. Uh, you gotta buy that separately. And here is the, the new PCV can, which hopefully will look like the one that's on there. It's the 214 NC24. All right, so the problem that I can see with this PCV is that, first of all, it's old. It's meant to be serviced uh, regularly, but I don't think that's happened because it's usually avoided, but it is on the service point. What I can see is that we got oil around the valve cover. We have oil around the PCV itself, which indicates that the O-ring is dried up. And we have a little bit of moisture around the seals on the cam because I just did the cam belt on it. Uh, also the crank, like it's, it's moisturizing a little bit everywhere. So uh, that is a sure sign of uh, a clogged PCV system. So let's do that. Let's do the whole thing. We're going to check all the vacuum lines. We're going to clean these pipes. We're going to swap out the PCV, as I said, get a new O-ring on there. And hopefully that will improve this situation. So how are we going to do this? Uh, first of all, I want to get the engine washed, at least where the PCV is, because as you can see down there, I don't know if you can see it right now, but, but it is very, you know, sandy and mucky down there. And you don't want to get that into the engine when you go to take that PCV can off. So, I mean, definitely want to get rid of some of that. I really, really want to get the PCV swapped before uh, we do an inspection on this. So let's do that. Gloves on. Uh, by the way, I got a couple of comments on these gloves. If you want to check them out, there's a link in the description. The first thing that I would like to do is to get all the hose out, hoses out. So get rid of this big one right here. And then we have a small one right here behind the intake. I don't know if you can see it, but there's a vacuum hose right here connected to like a T coupling right there. That goes down into the PCV can. Uh, we're gonna try to get rid of the, the harness, the engine harness from the PCV bracket. Uh, but if that is rusted, don't worry about it. Just leave it there because you can kind of pry it out anyway. But you're gonna need a 10, 12 with a very long extender and a knee, as we call it in Sweden anyway. Clearly see it from up top here anyway, which is nice. And with like everything else on this car, it's kind of just falling out. I almost forgot about the wiring harness. So you have a 10 millimeter right here. But like I said, if that is rusted, you know, don't even try it. Just leave it. Get that. That's at quite an angle. Take that one out. So now we got this harness free, which is good. All right, let's get the last one. This is way too easy. This is not reality right here. Take this out with the whole bracket. Put that there. Didn't I like two seconds ago say that, say that I was gonna start with the hoses? God, you know, memory's good, but it's awfully short. All right, so this is the hose that I'm talking about. It'll be the one in the middle. Don't use one of these, but these hoses are so rock hard that you can't really get them off otherwise. Now this hose should just pop up here, which it does, and it should just pop off right there. And then you can take this whole thing out and we're gonna clean that and then, hopefully, let's get the idle air engine out, the connector out of the way, so we have a little bit more space. 
And then we should just be able to lift this up. Careful. And there we go. Easy peasy. All right, so I don't know if you can see this. Uh, right, so let's take a little peek in here and see what we see. Not much gunk in there, not what I can make out anyway. Not in there either, really. Same thing with the vacuum hose, although you can see right there, we got a little crack. So that's no good. Dried up like probably most of the vacuum hoses on this car. So we'll go ahead and replace on that if I can find one. But I think I have a few laying around here, so it shouldn't be a problem. Uh, this guy doesn't look to be bad at all. This gasket though is definitely shot. As you can see, it's all flat and you got the oil all around it. Doesn't look to be super stuffed in there, but there's definitely some gunk in there. All right, let's cut this thing up and see what we find. So that's how that looks like on the inside. Hmm, not too dirty at all, I would say. Maybe a little bit, just right down there in the drain. I have no idea. <laughs> I have no idea how the flow goes through this, but all I know is that there's a slight vacuum up here, which pulls the, uh, the crankcase gases, which is like a, a cloud of oil and sh sh stuff, gases, you know, uh, coming up through here. And then the oil gets separated. Don't ask me how, but it kind of gets separated in here. And then it flows down the walls and goes back into the oil pan. And when these get clogged up, you get an overpressure in the engine because it doesn't vent through this guy right here. But you know, if we're pulling, if this gasket right here is broken, then we won't get the suction into the crankcase. So that would probably disrupt this whole process. Can't be much. I mean, the vacuum must be very, very low, but apparently enough to vent it out anyway. All right, so let's get this thing cleaned out. I have no clue how I am going to do that, but I have an idea. All right. Yeah. Let that sit there, if it wants to sit there for a little while. We'll throw this away, just listen to this. Yeah, that is pretty hard. So I'm gonna have to go over all the, the vacuum hoses on this car. Do this one too. And this little guy. Now, if you have a non-turbo, this is gonna be a little different. I think it's just the turbo versions that have this. They don't have that flame trap. But if you do have the flame trap, be sure to take that out. Either replace it or uh, clean it off. And you know, while that's marinating there, we can just go ahead and put this on. I don't know if you can see, but there's a pipe on the left side of this big hole, there's a little pipe. That pipe goes down into the crankcase or the, uh, the oil pan. And you wanna make sure that that's not broken. Sometimes they break in half and kind of fall into the oil pan. I don't think that that's the case here, but we might as well check it out. I mean, I've, I've got a camera, so I'll just send that down there and see what it looks like. All right, so this is the trusty old Vivor endoscope, as you remember from a few videos back. They got an even better version of this now with like a swivel on the end. So if you guys are interested in that, there will be a link in the description. All right, so we're gonna take a trip down here into the oil pan. Making sure that gets a little tight down there. So there's definitely a little kink there where it doesn't seem like I can go past. I don't really like that kink. Why is that? Why is that there? All right, so just a little bit of oil on that, so it'll go in smoothly. There we go. 
the bracket on here. Don't forget the wire harness. Get that on there too. Woo, it is hot. Think it'll do. Just tie this on here. There you go, can try that. All right, so we got some off. Let's pull this through once again. Got a little brake clean going on there as well. Feels very clean. Yeah, that's not, that's not even dirty anymore. Clean this off too. All right, something like that. Yeah, looks all right. Okay, so I'm gonna say that that's clean. That's clean. Now oh, this little guy. This is by far the dirtiest. There was definitely gunk in there, I can tell you that. All right, something like that. That one got really clean. I think it looks pretty good. All right, so you wanna start fitting this. See this pipe right here? You want it pointing down towards the uh, canister. Put it on top of the canister, the hole that's on top. Seat it down there real nice. And then it goes on like so, and then pops onto the intake hose like such. Okay, so there's one more thing you wanna clean and that's this little, what do you call it, nipple? <laughs> A little vacuum connector. You wanna make sure that's nice and clean. There you go, and you just want to clean that out. Make sure there's no blockage there. And get your hose. I'm not really sure how this went. That doesn't make sense. That looks pretty good. I'll just pop that on there. Unfortunately, it's a little bit too too big, so uh, we're gonna have to do a little a little fooling. I'm just gonna go ahead and put a hose clamp on this. This is one of those one type deal hose clamps. There we go. That's not gonna leak. And I do believe that there's supposed to be a little clamp there. All right, so there we go. All right guys, that is the PCV system done feels good to have that done. So at least when we go to clean the engine, if it starts moisturing up again, at least we won't, at least we will know that that is probably not uh, one of the issues. All right, like I said, gloves in the description. They're actually pretty good. Lasted through all this. See you guys next time. Arigat, hi.